Welcome back to another solo motion VFX tutorial. This one is a pretty short one. It's just showing you how to make a simple uh, headshot. So here I have my enemy character, uh, enemy troop enemy, and inside his uh, head bone, where there's a spear collider, and that's because I have a ragdoll set up. So there's rag uh, there's colliders on every uh, body part. I'll leave a link in the description to how to set up a ragdoll. On the spear collider on the head, I've just pumped up the radius a little bit, as you see here. I adjusted the capsule collider on the main body and just lowered the height a little bit so the spear collider can easily be hit. On my spear collider I also added the tag headshot. Let's look at the script. So inside my script my V projectile control script which comes with my Invector third person shooter. Inside my hit info collider I compare the tag with the headshot which is the tag of the spear collider or the game object with the spear collider on. I'm just checking for a debug if I hit it. So if I hit it I set them. I go in and set the blaze AI component enable that to false and also get it the component in parents, the elite trooper shooter headshot true. It's just a bool value. I said true that I made a headshot. And then I also go in and look at my health controller. And that I changed that to zero because uh, I wanted to die instantly. And in the animator controller, I, I play this specific animation called die on belt. Then I'm using the blaze AI diff doll uh, method. When I use that, that means that I can play my own animation. This one die on belt. For a short while, and then afterward, it's gonna play the ragdoll. On my elite trooper shooter, this is why I made a public bool and I ate my also my gunshot. On my elite trooper shooter script, I add a audio source headshot sound. I also add the bool headshot, and I also add the headshot prefab. When this is playing, they play headshot. Then I'm doing two things: I'm playing the audio down here, the headshot sound, and I'm also uh, instantiating a bloodshot effect. So I have a prefab here. I have a transform uh, point, which is actually just the head transform, the head bone, and then I'm uh, gonna destroy it afterwards. Okay, pretty simple. Here in my elite triple shooter, this is where I have all the prefabs set in. So my headshot transform here, which is the head bone here, and then I have, of course, my headshot blood effect will also be instantiating at this uh, specific uh, transform. Okay, okay, guys, so that was a pretty quick one. I hope you learned something. Please leave in the comment if you want to see something specific. Otherwise, leave a like and a subscribe. See you in the next time. Bye.